Hello everyone. So I have decided to change the um, subject of my channel. I'll be uploading more tutorials and painting videos. Now today I'm going to work on GIMP. GIMP is a very powerful image tool. Uh, you can create various amount of images and also you can edit different uh, kind of images in this software. It's is GNU image manipulation program full form now you can download this software from www.gimpgimp.org uh, slash downloads that is d-o-w-n-l-o-a-d-s and you will get um, the download link from various windows uh, version now today I'm in a mood for drawing something sci-fi sci science fiction so I'll try to draw something like this image with the fantasy planet colorful planet and a star that is maybe this planet is rotating around this star and kind of a light flashing from the star and there's uh, lots of smoke around the planet it's just dust maybe uh, which will give a realistic look uh, to the entire image so I want to make an image like that today so for that first we make a new document so go to file then new then uh, pop-up opens as create a new image uh, I'm going to keep the default size that is 640 by 400 pixel with 72 um, pixel per inch resolution and um, this is this will be our canvas on which we are going to work so just click on ok and there our uh, canvas appears now I'm going to take the paint bucket that uh, little bucket symbol and um, change the front color as black and fill the background entirely black now here on the right side you can see a small icon with the folded corner it's look it looks like a paper now uh, click on that icon that is the new layer icon so if we click on it there will be a new pop-up with uh, option create a new layer uh, keep the size same but layer fill type make it transparent that is uh, select the uh, option transparency now select the new layer and then uh, select ellipse select tool that is the second tool uh, in the tool menu you can see this this oval shape tool select it and then just drag it on the canvas like this make sure it gives a round shape rather than an ellipse shape we want a round shape planet so we've just selected the area in this area all the work all the effects everything will be done inside this uh, round shape inside this selected area so from now on whatever we will we'll do um, will be confined within this round shape ok so go to filters option filters option from the menu from there go to render uh, from render go to uh, sphere designer click on sphere designer now sphere designer here uh, let us draw a, a spherical object that is that looks like 3d object not 2d and uh, you can change the texture of the sphere there are uh, texture colors as well and uh, noise gives a very foggy texture on top of the uh, sphere and there's two colors colors over here two color option you can change the colors if you like uh, like if you make it a dark red you see the f foggy that noise color becomes reddish so for timing just keep it black and white light is you know uh, on object how the light is falling like this light is only black and white but this one this is just a uh, normal but this one uh, has a green uh, aura a green shade of light so if I make it a little darker and bluer maybe little purple color 
yes so it gives a purpley uh, shade because uh, i want a colorful uh, planet as we have seen so just change the colors a bit mm, let's see yeah this is the image see how colorful this image is so we need to make uh, colors like that so on that side it will be little light yellowish color because that will be the side where the star will be so make it little yellowish and change this light color little yeah this will work the second uh, the first light color also i changed to little yellowish you can change all the other option like scale turbulence etc you can play with all this option and see how they come out and how it's it changes the appearance of the sphere itself so um it looks good click on ok since uh, i've already have a selected area the sphere appears within that selected area only and it, it doesn't um, spill out it doesn't give a different shape the sphere just it's uh, confined within that area now make another layer similarly like before keep the transparency on and then go to filter again render uh, this time clouds and then plasma there's a plasma option so you can see the there's a pop up again comes out of plasma it it will give a various color combination different color combination in that selected round area since we have kept the selection uh, it will just uh, appear within the selection though we are doing it in a different layer but since the selection is on selection is um, working for all the layers so I'm going to do randomize because um, it will give random color option and then change the turbulence option according to your wish whatever color how the appearance uh, you want to have of that planet so change it to however you wish um, it, it, this one looks good this one looks nice so I'll keep it click OK so you see that area is filled with the plasma uh, texture now make another layer similarly and then again go to render clouds and plasma so now uh, change the turbulence little or uh, change the randomized color scheme how it looks and uh, now I like the way it is now the changed color you see there's a different um, color pattern uh, has come now click on the little uh, folder option uh, next to the new layer this is a new group option where you can group all the layers together now click on that so layer group you can see there's a new layer group now drag and drop all the layer inside that group and keep the um, order same as it was so there's a new layer group we have created now select the layer 1, layer 1 uh, that the middle layer and check its mode is normal that is it is blended with its background in normal mode. So now I am going to change its uh, mode is to overlay. Mm, so its uh, mode is now overlay. It should appear shortly its effect. Now the top layer, layer 2, I will also change its um, mode to overlay now see how the effect change immediately I change both the layers to overlay it, it actually started to take shape the textures of the plasma layers that is the layer 1 and layer 2 they are completely um, blending with the bottom layer and also becoming little darker and not that super extra bright that we had now I click the chain option that is uh, all the three layers are linked together so now if I move the group as a whole you'll see that all the layers are moving together that uh, chain helps uh, to keep all the layers together 
Now make another layer on top of layer 2 and also attach it with the rest of the layer and now take uh, a brush soft brush and uh, decrease the opacity to 50 50 is all right it seems 50 is fine now the color uh, make the color little light yellow not too light not too dark and uh, now gently brush on one side of the sphere that we have created because that side will be on the side of the stars so there will be more light on that side now take the eraser brush uh, decrease the opacity uh, to 30 35 and then gently uh, brush over the color so the color will gently blend with the background it will not look very um, prominent or very um, straightforward very I don't know what I should say the word should be very blunt the color shouldn't look very blunt but very soft and very um, very much natural so I've erased the, that side now go to select option then uh, select the none option or click shift ctrl a on your windows computer so the selection uh, will be gone that is it will be deselected now make another new layer um, with same configuration while selecting the background so it will be outside the group i don't want the layer inside the group so there's layer 4 outside the group layer group and on top of all the other layers now go to filter then light and shadow then gradient flare now here choose the selected as distant sun obviously it looks like a sun you can change the radius here I uh, change it a little bit rotation how you can see the changes happening on the sun hue what color sun you like yeah that you can have different color sun mm, vector angle that is the angle of the sun's light how it's flowing or on which direction and something like that yes like this something like that you can experiment a little more here I, I didn't do a lot of work on the Sun but um, this a lot can be done with the Sun now now I just uh, click right click on the layer and select duplicate layer uh, so there's another layer uh, now there's two layers because I don't want to ruin the sun if I try to uh, work on something so I'll just see how it looks with Gaussian blur so I kept the original sun layer and working on the duplicate layer so made uh, the blur radius 4 horizontal and vertical pixel 4 pixel then click on ok so it becomes little blurry because um, my focus is the planet over here not the sun so I want to uh, keep the sun part little blurry so that uh, my main focus uh, still stay on the planet so now I'm mm, taking the blur tools individually and then making the center of the sun little more blurry so I hope it looks all right compared to the uh, sharpness of the planet yeah it looks good and also it gives a sharp contrast between the two object the distance and the focus point okay so I've created another layer um, on top of background layer and then uh, took the brush tool and make the opacity 100 percent so now I think I'll go I'll make the stars in the sky uh, I didn't take the exact hard brush but then little softer brush that one 
and made the size extremely small the brush size and okay now I'll just draw some white dots um, in the sky as stars and you can always change the size of the brush by um, pressing right or left uh, third bracket key, uh, keys from your keyboard I think the left one will increase and the right one will decrease I have to check again yeah and um, you can uh, draw as many star as you want but uh, do not draw any star near the light source uh, even if you draw you have to make them really really light because uh, generally you cannot see smaller light source uh, when there's uh, there's a bigger more powerful light in front of you so keep that in mind and um, just draw away stars all the stars and I'm drawing different shape different size stars now I'm going to make another layer on top of layer 6 that is layer 7 and change the foreground color little like violety now I took the brush tool and decreased the opacity little around uh, 64 and uh, change the size I think I'll just uh, drag the layer above the planet group let's see how it looks that way now just drawing some scribble with a soft brush I just need some particle dust or some particle cloud around the planet just to make it look more mysterious and give a little atmosphere there that's all uh, just drawing randomly keeping a, a flow like particle dust surrounded the planet and the area now now I cannot keep it this way so I need to make some edit on it so now I take the eraser tool and reduce the opacity around 48 or so take a softer brush and slightly stroke over the color so that it it blends with the background and doesn't look very much uh, prominent or too blunt or solid color it should look more transparent or translucent so I just stroke slightly now again taking the brush tool Uh, stroking again little light on top just to highlight few areas now changing the color to little purpley shade giving a different shade to the dust particle clouds uh, just to make it look more dynamic now again erasing with a lower opacity eraser now from filter blur Gaussian blur I'm going to uh, make the entire cloudy thing little blurry just like it should look maybe increase the blur amount it looks little it looks better this way Now taking the most soft brush of eraser and again erasing little bit to make it even lighter still little darker here and reducing the layer opacity erasing quite a bit of the part 
and trying to blend with the environment around it. Now made another layer on top of it and now I'm going to color some little yellowish orangish on it. Let's see how it looks. It's just for the sun rays. Let's see how it looks like. Just like before, I'll just give few strokes of the color and then again I'll erase or blur it. Gaussian blur. Now going to increase it to 20. Now it's quite blurry. Again blurring it. Now going to reduce the opacity of the layer and Let's see if I drag it below the purple dust layer. Not bad. No. Doesn't give much difference. Now I'm going to erase little bits of it. Just like before. So that it doesn't look too much uh, of, of a dusty or cloudy. Or it will give a very blurry look. reducing the opacity a little bit more it totally depends on you how much uh, lighter or how much uh, more prominent you want these dust clouds are or do you even want it at all in the image but I like it I want to put it this way so I have added these two layers and Mm, it looks now nice. It looks really nice. Uh, if you want to do something more with this picture, go ahead, feel free. Okay, so that's about it. It will look like this and you can erase some more of the clouds or you can add some more. You can add some other rocks or other little planets and everything. Anyways, so I'm going to sign off with that. And if you like my tutorial, then please like my video and subscribe my channel because I'm going to upload more such tutorial videos and painting videos as well as some. Um, I hope I can upload some more funny videos as well. So that's all guys for today. I'm going to sign off. Have a great time. So hope to see you in my channel soon.